What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we are winding it back to Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark for a custom minifigure showcase. Now, if you're new here to the channel, the idea here is we are taking existing Lego figures and parts and creating new things. So, for example, Indiana Jones is our regular figure, but we've got some custom upgrades to some characters, and then characters like Sala, who never existed in Lego Indiana Jones as a theme. So, this video will fill in all the cracks of the main missing characters and show you how to build them and add them to your Lego collection. Now, when it comes to Lego Indiana Jones as a theme, Raiders of the Lost Ark was actually the movie that got a lot of the majority of sets. Now, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull did have more sets, but as far as the classics go, Raiders had a great variety to sort through for this. So a lot of the figures are going to be based on the figures that came here, you know, since those costumes are going to be pretty accurate with some upgrades along the way, as well as figures that we didn't actually get from the original theme. But Lego Indiana Jones is my favorite theme of all time, so I'm really excited to kind of bring my favorite theme to the thing that my channel is probably most known for, and that is making custom minifigures. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So needless to say, we've got Indiana Jones up first, and I've made no upgrades to this figure because he's already the perfect minifigure as is. He is one of my all-time favorite LEGO figures, and I feel like it would be sacrilege to do anything to upgrade him. He was available in the 2008 era when the LEGO Indiana Jones sets came out, and this figure came in almost every single LEGO Indiana Jones set with the exception of about three sets. So it's very widely out there, and he is is just one of the greats, so we're going to leave him as is. And from here on out, we're going to be in roughly chronological order of how characters appear in the movie. So next, we've got Sapito, who is Indiana Jones's guide for the first part of the movie, where they go in to go get the idol from the temple. So for this figure, I added the idol from the Lego Indiana Jones temple set, and then the torso, legs, and hair are from the original Sapito, because, again, how are you going to get more accurate than that? And the face is actually from the most recent version, as of this video, of Little Kid Boba Fett. So I I think it turned out really great, and I think it's a great version of this character. Next up, we've got Renee Belloc, who we see for the first time when Indiana Jones escapes the temple. And to build this figure, I used the actual Belloc legs, torso, and hat from the Belloc figure from the Lego Indiana Jones Temple Escape set. And the face I used is just one of these soldier heads that we've gotten many times in Lego Star Wars. So it's a very common piece to get, and it rounds this figure out very simply. Next up, we've got Jock, who is Lego Indiana Jones's pilot, and this is a great figure because he had back printing. That was relatively rare in this era of Lego. And just as a side note, you'll notice his arm is sun damaged because this was my figure growing up, and I had lots of adventures with this as a kid. Anyways, this Jock is exactly as he comes from the set, and I gave him a green snake because, of course, he has a snake in his plane at the beginning of the movie. Here we've got Marcus Brody, who, while he isn't one of the more exciting adventurous characters, he's always been a favorite of mine. So to build this figure, you'll need the torso and legs from Lex Luthor from LEGO DC, the 2012 version that is, just some standard brown minifigure hair, and this face I used is from one of the Hoth Troopers from LEGO Star Wars. Here we've got Marion Ravenwood from the first scene where we see her in the bar, and this was a tricky one to make, but I think it turned out pretty well. So I used these dark brown legs and torso from the Lego Friends set, the Central Park set that is, and I popped on some olive green arms to match the torso there because I think it actually looked pretty representative of her in this scene. One extra fun thing I added is this Lego coin in her hand to represent the Staff of Ra, and how I got her to hold it is I put a little bit of blue sticky tack on the back of her hand to hold it in place there. Then I used the long black hair that came on Marion Ravenwood and many other characters over the years with the face from Monica from the Lego Friends Central Park set. So that's this version of Marion. Here we've got Tote, who is really like a secondary villain in this movie. Something really cool that I loved about this movie is we've got lots of antagonists at all kinds of different twists and turns. So for this figure, I used the hat, torso, and legs from the mobsters from the Lego Indiana Jones Temple of Doom Shanghai Chase set, and the face is just Harry Potter with that kind of determined look. So you only need two figures to actually build this, and I think it actually looks a lot like him. 
So moving right along, at this point in the movie, we would be in Cairo at the desert, so we've got Desert Indiana Jones. And this figure is just the exact Desert Indiana Jones minifigure that we got from the set, uh, the Cairo set, that is, and no changes were made here, because once again, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. <laughs> Next up, we've got Marion from the desert scene, and if I could do it the right way, I would actually include the Lego monkey here, but I don't have that piece uh, at my disposal. I know I have it here somewhere, I just couldn't find it for this video. But Marion's outfit here, of course, is based off of that scene, and since we actually got her as a Lego figure, you can't get any more accurate than that. It's using the head and hair from before, though, so there are some updates, but nothing too crazy that we haven't seen yet. Here we've got Indiana Jones's close friend, Sala, and one of my favorite characters from all of Indiana Jones. So to build this figure, the torso, legs, and head are actually from the character Sheikh Amar from Lego Prince of Persia. Really works out that way. Then I just popped on some tan arms there, and I added the turban from the Lego collectible minifigure series to round this figure out. I'm really happy with the way this one turned out, and I can't believe we never got an official Lego Sala. It's absolutely crazy. All right, so here we've got the Cairo Swordsman, and this guy on the side here was just somebody that was included in the Lego Indiana Jones Cairo set, so I included him here, but he's not a crucial character by any means. But this is the Swordman that Indiana Jones guns down, and honestly, a really cool minifigure. So uh, no, no updates here or anything like that. I guess I could have added some like baggy legs or something, but you know, it's not a deal breaker. So that's what these two characters are gonna be. All right, so if you're an avid viewer here on my channel, you may recognize this figure already from my LEGO Indiana Jones map room set, but of course, this is Indy in his map room attire. So to build this figure, I used this headpiece, which came from Prince of Persia, and then the torso and legs are from Luke Skywalker from, uh, I was gonna say Rise of Skywalker, but more accurately from The Last Jedi with that torso flipped around. I added the Indiana Jones satchel there, of course, Indiana Jones's head underneath, then a staff here with a brown telescope, a one-by-one one clip, and then a one-by-one one round stud that's flat, of course, that I took a little Sharpie to to make it look like the Staff of Ra a little more accurately than the coin from earlier. So definitely a different figure, a lot more pieces on this one than usual, but a great figure nonetheless. Here we've got Marion in her dress, which I think looks really great and always has as a regular Lego minifigure. So everything from this figure, legs, torso, and hair, are from the original Marion that this came with, with that head from Monica from the Lego Friends set added in to keep consistency with every other version we've put up here so far. Here we've got Indiana Jones in his army disguise, which I think turned out really awesome, honestly. And to build this, I used some dark khaki legs, the torso and hat from one of the soldiers from Lego Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and of course, Indiana Jones's head. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Here we've got the German mechanic, which of course is who Indy fights on the tarmac with the plane, one of the most iconic movie scenes ever, and I made no upgrades here. This is just the regular old figure because, once again, some of these designs are so great, they're just hard to argue with. And to round out the video, I figured I'd just show you all of these soldiers at once. So these are German soldiers, uh, or as Lego would call them, just, you know, the soldier guys from this. But they're actually supposed to be the Nazis from the movie, but they weren't going to put the, you know, logo or anything like that. So, you know, we just have to know what they are and call it a day. But these are all of the versions, uh, different variants that you could have gotten back in the day. And then for good measure, this was the Lego Indiana Jones Ark of the Covenant build that came with the uh, little like underground temple set thing. So I just wanted to include it here because, you know, we are talking Raiders of the Lost Ark and what's the movie without the Ark? <laughs> so let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts and one last overview on all of these figures. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know which movies you'd like to see me hone in on next and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.